Have you ever wondered how big companies deploy their applications into production environments? Understanding the process and the best practices when deploying to production is very important for all DevOps engineers to know. And in this video, I will explain you all the steps in this process with the flowchart diagram. So make sure you watch this video till the end and also subscribe to CloudChamp if you haven't subscribed. So the process starts in the planning phase where the client or the team discuss about the goal and the objective of the application. Also the task required to develop this application, which are broken down into smaller pieces such as epics or user stories, also known as tickets and added into a project management tool such as Jira. Your company might be using Azure DevOps or Trello, but all the tickets are added into a project management tool, which are then picked up by the developers. So the developers are going to pick up the tickets that are assigned to them and start writing code for it. So they will build the code, locally test it, and also deploy the application in the local machine. If everything works out properly, they will then push this code onto a central repository, maybe using GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket, anything you want to use. So developers will push this code from their local machine to GitHub using Git. On GitHub, we have different branches. So we have the main or the master branch, and we can also create more branches if you want. Usually, it is not recommended to push directly on the main branch, so we don't follow it while doing it in production. We will instead create a feature branch. So developers are requested to create a feature branch depending on what feature or bug they are working on. So they will create a feature branch. Let's call this at feature branch. And instead of pushing it to the main branch, they will first push to the feature branch. So they're going to push to the feature branch and they will test the feature branch properly. If everything works out, they will create a merge request, which will go ahead and merge this code from the feature branch to the main branch. So you will be creating a pull request or the merge or merge request. So this pull request is usually reviewed by a senior DevOps engineer or a developer before it is merged into the main branch. Because on the main branch, we usually have CI CD setup. For example, let's say we're using GitHub Actions for CI CD here. GitHub Actions is a very popular tool that lets you automate building, testing, and deploying your application. So whenever you push to a main branch, this will trigger a CI CD pipeline in the GitHub Actions and th that will go ahead, build your code, also test it and deploy it either on your Kubernetes cluster or let's say AWS cloud in our example here. So this is the process followed whenever you want to push your code to production. The developer is going to create a feature branch. A pull request will be created, reviewed by a senior DevOps engineer, and then merged into main branch, which will go ahead and trigger the pipeline. This pipeline will build, test, and deploy the application on AWS cloud or any other provider. But this is not the best practice. When deploying critical application, you should have different environments like dev environment, staging environment, before you push it to the main or the production environment. So instead of pushing your changes to the main branch and creating an application through it, you will first push the change to the dev branch and test out if everything is working properly. If it works properly, we will go to the upper branch, which is the test or the staging branch. In this branch, we are going to be using the pre-prod data, which is very similar to the real data that is going to be used in our application. So we will test out things using the pre-prod data. This will be very similar to the production application or production environment here. And we are going to be doing load tests to make sure that the application is able to sustain the load. We will also do some smoke tests to make sure our application works properly in the production. If everything works properly, then we will merge this into the production branch so that the final application should be available to the users and you should have no other problem. So this is the process companies follow to deploy their applications to production. They start by writing the code in the feature branch and then merge that branch into the dev branch test if everything is working properly. If it works properly, then they merge that branch into the staging branch, check it with the pre-prod data, do smoke test, integration test, load test, everything to make sure that the production is going to have no problems. Once that is done, from staging, you push that application to the prod, and then the prod is going to deploy your application, which is going to be used by your end users. So the end users are going to consume this, so this application is going to be used by the end user after it is deployed in the production environment. Now, once the application is deployed properly, we are also going to be making sure that the application runs properly by continuously monitoring it, continuously making sure that the application is highly available, which is called as the post deployment stage where we continuously check and monitor that the application is working properly. So this is a continuous process where you make changes, 
merge it to the branches, take feedback from your users and continuously improve. This is how companies deploy their code to production. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. So this was our video. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. If you want me to create more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you and have a good day.